while binding energy increases with the increasing of oxidation state. It is very important concept in XPS analysis. Binding energy is just like the fingerprint. Fingerprint is unique for every individual. Similarly, binding energy is unique for every individual element. Oxidation states simply mean when atom lose electrons or when atom gain electrons. Look at the iron. Iron has two oxidation state. One oxidation state, another oxidation state. When the oxidation state increases, the binding energy increases. Why binding energy increases with the increasing of oxidation state? This is very important question in XPS analysis. We know that binding energy is just like the fingerprint. This is the fingerprint. Every individual, every human being has a unique fingerprint. Similarly, every element, if it is lead here, if it is copper here, if it is silver, if it is gold. So every element has a unique binding energy. From this binding energy, we identify that what type of elements exist. Because we know that in XPS spectrum here, and X axis, we have the binding energy. So we get peaks here, photoelectron peaks and OJ peaks. From these peaks, we identify the binding energy. And then we compare this binding energy with the binding energy table. Just, just like our all fingerprints are saved in the system. Similarly, for all elements, we have the binding energy and there is a table uh, without hydrogen and helium. For all detectable elements, we have a table and the binding energy are stored. So we simply compare the binding energy with the binding energy table and we identify the elements. Now let's come to the question that why the binding energy increases with the increased oxidation state. So first of all, let's understand what is oxidation state basically. Oxidation basically means here when atom loss or gain electron. Loss or gain electron. So we call that oxidation state. In one case we call positive oxidation state, another case we call negative oxidation state. So in this case basically our oxidation states are increases here. This is basically titanium 4 oxidation state. Here is plus 2 oxidation state. Here is 0, no oxidation here. Right? Because titanium is in original form. So we can see that when the oxidation state increases, the binding energy increases here. Let's discuss this here. Very, very interesting. So when this, this let's suppose this is the titanium atom. Let's suppose this is not titanium, but anyhow it is a titanium atom. So when this titanium lost these two electrons here, so it becomes this uh, titanium plus two here. So when this lost two electrons here, this means that, this means that this atom become more positive. So when this atom become more positive, so there will be more attractive force on the remaining electrons. So this, this, is, this is why it has a high binding energy. Now it is difficult to remove this electron. Now let's remove four electrons. When we remove four electrons from this atom, so it becomes this titania four here. Now it is a, become very difficult because this titanium atom become more positive and more positive and for the remaining electrons it is quite difficult to remove so this is this means that they have very high binding energy because we need more energy to remove this electron this means these electrons have high binding energy this variation in the binding energy uh, for these three different oxidation state of titanium can be obtained from high resolution xps spectra not with the help of uh, survey spectra, but with the help of high resolution spectra, we will see that there is a variation here. One peak, another peak, another peak. You see there will be three different peaks for uh, three different oxidation states. Let's discuss this binding energy for iron. So we know that iron is here, the iron have two oxidation states. What is Fe2 plus, one is Fe3 plus. So iron in, in, in a pure form, having no oxidations. This is basically the electronic configuration of the last two orbital here. This is the 4s, this is the 3t here. So we can see that uh, the, this s orbital is full here and this is partially filled here. So with this s iron 2 plus mean, when, when this iron lost two electrons, so these two electrons now they lost here. There is, this, this is empty here because this is 4s is the outermost 
uh, a shell as compared to 3D. So first, the, the iron will lose these two electrons. So this become now uh, uh, oxidized here, and this this is now this this oxidized iron has higher binding energy because we explained this that the, the, the atom that the iron atom become more positive and there will be more influence of the nucleus on the remaining electrons. So now the, the, this is now the, 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 this oxidation state when, when we lost this one electron here. Right? So the two electron from here, one electron from here. So this is now a higher oxidation state. So uh, the, the atom become more positive and more positive and uh, the remaining electron will uh, under more influence and attractive force. So the, 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 the remaining electron will have higher binding energy. It will be very difficult now to remove these electrons uh, using the same X-ray. So this is how the binding energy increases with the 